Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In the previous video, we have successfully injected the logger service into the calculator service and also we have successfully implemented the test case. Now, in this, in this video, we will try to create the spy for this logger service and also we will try to create a spy object also. So, why we need to create the spice and why we need to create a spy object, let's try to see in this video. Now, here, as we already told you, we are injecting the logger service into the calculator service as this calculator service is dependent on the logger service. Now, we already discussed that we don't want this logger service to call the to call the log when while we are testing. Why? Because, for example, in this log method, if any expensive resources or any, any calls to the third party API, if it is making means, so every test case when we are trying to run like this add method or subtract method, it will call the resources like that. So we, that should not happen for us. Why? Because we are testing, just we are testing. We need to know that whether it has been called or not. That's it. So we don't want to execute that method. So we know that if it is called means in production, it will execute. But in the test, in the test time when we are doing the testing thing, so we don't want that log, log method to be executed. Just we need to know that whether it has been called or not. So for doing this one, what we need to do, we need to spy on this log method. As this log.service.ts file, we have a log method. We need to spy on this log method so that we can know that how many times it has been called, whether it has been called or not. So we can do, we can, we can know it. Now, if we go here to the calculator.service.spec.ts file, here I will, what I will try to do, here I will do the spy on. So before doing the spy on thing, so let's try to execute this one. Okay, if I are trying to execute this one, let's try to add the debugger here. Logger.service.es. So here I am adding the debugger. Okay. Let's try to see how many times it has been called. If I try to refresh, so it is calling this log method one time, second time. So two times it has been called. So as we are having add, add and subtract method, so two times it is called. So now we don't want this debugger to be hit. So if it is, if the, uh, this debugger is hitting means this log method is getting executed because of this uh, calculator.service.spec.ts file. So we don't want the debugger to be hit. Why, why, what we need to do? We need to do the spy on logger service. Okay. Spy on this, sorry, logger service. And in this logger service, we need to spy on this log method. Okay. So as soon as when we write this spy on logger service did log method, so this log method will not be called. So now if you try to see, I will try to show you expect logger service dot log to have been called times. So how many times it has been called? So it need to be called only one time, right? So now let's try to check it. So if I try to check it here, so only one time the log message has been called. So that's that's it. So only one time the log message. So here it is executing only one time because of this subtract method. So here whenever we are doing the spy on this logger service log method, automatically this log method, log method will not be called. So it will just spy on this logger log service. And now here also let's try to implement the spy on. So spy on. Let's try to implement this logger service logger service log method and we need to expect the same thing logger service dot log to have been called times one that's it now let's try to see the output again if i try to see the output again now the debugger has not been hit so now none of the debugger is getting hit why because we are spying on this logger service log so whenever we are spying on this log method automatically this jasmine spy on will not call to the original log so just it will it will it will stop that call so for example, if you want that logger message to be called, but we need to know that, so it has been called times or not. If you want to know this one means, what we need to do is, we need to use and dot call through. So you need to use this call through, okay? And here also we can use this call through. So where is this one? Yeah, so call through. So now what it will try to do, it will spy on this log method and also it will execute this log method also. If you try to see here, one debugger has been came for the add method. And another debugger has been came for the subtract method. So, but for now, we don't want to call this original method. So, just we need to spy on this one. So, we should not call this one. So, we just we can keep this spy on like this. Okay. So, we have successfully 
tried on this log method and we have checked that whether it has been called one time or not but there is one problem here not a problem so now there is one scenario why because so we haven't we haven't we are not so we we can think that we are not calling this log method right but we are actually calling this logger service for example let's say that you have a constructor here okay so we need to check that whether this constructor has been called or not so for example let's say that we have some logic executing here in this one okay so logic is there that is going to be executed in the constructor whenever this logger service is instantiated so there is some logic it will be executing executed so now what will happen so we don't want this constructor logic also to be get executed but here in the calculator.service.spec.sts we have just spied on this log method we have not spied on this entire logger service now if you try to see the output so if you try to see let's try to remove this one all so let's try to see here so now in this constructor so if you try to see here in this constructor the debugger method has been hit in the, the constructor but the debugger has not been hit in the log message so now here if you try to see this many times the constructor has been hit so if you try to go here and if you try to do the logger service the debugger thing i will try to copy this one and paste it here also so now how many times the constructor has been called let's try to see it so here first the constructor has been called okay fine so again the constructor has been called third time also the constructor has been called so three times the constructor constructor is getting called why because so we have a logger service.spec.ts file so which is calling again which is instantiating again the logger service so let's try to remove this logger.service.spec file so that we will understand clearly so now first time for the add method the constructor is called so for the subtract method also the constructor has been called so that means this constructor is getting called but the log the log method is not getting called why because we are spying on this log method so we not we don't want this logger service entire logger service constructor also to be get executed we need to mock this all the logger service so how can we do it so here we know that we should not call, we should uh, so here why why this constructor is getting called because of this new logger service whenever we are instantiating whenever we are creating an object for this logger service so the constructor will be immediately called so we are calling two times because of this reason two times the debugger is getting hit now what we need to do is so we should not create the logger service and we should not create it so rather than we should create a dummy logger service in a such a way that logger service it should have the same methods what are present in this logger service and we need to provide it here so jasmine has a create spy object method so it will create a so logger service this one creating object is nothing but a simple object right it it's a object it consists of the log method so in the same scenario jasmine also creates a spy object for us and it will also not only creates the spy object it will also tracks the methods that are involved in this logger service let's try to do it so here let's try to create a mock so jasmine dot create spy object so i am creating a spy object so for which one i am i am creating for the logger service okay so for the logger service so now here what i need to do so here what i need to do here i need to add the log method okay so that's it so i am adding it so here what i will try to do is mock logger service so i am creating it as mock logger service now whenever you are creating a logger service for this one so here we have created a spy object uh, so here we need to give this one also in the string so here this is the logger service now we have kept this uh, store this one in the mock logger service now what we need to do so there is no need to spy on this log method whenever you are creating a spy object here automatically the spy on will apply into this log method there is no need to add the spy on now this mock logger service is nothing but the mock mocker thing so here you can apply into this one and here you can check that whether the mock logger service dot log method has been called or not now in the same scenario here also you can take this one mock logger service and here you can add it here so for the normal thing what we can give is we can give like this logger service so that we can understand very easily so we are we are creating for the logger service so mock logger service and we can remove this spy on thing why because when you are creating a spy object as i already told you these are all the methods whatever you are trying to do it so these are all methods what is why, why i have given this method is so whatever the methods that are involved in the logger service we can we can create here we can write it here so for example in the log dot service dot es we are having only the log method so for because of that reason i am adding it here log method so now here this mock logger service i need to implement here like this that's it so now in the log service.ts we are having debugger here and the debugger here 
so now it will not touch the logger service original logger service file so we have created a marker for this one so that it will create the it will it will take it will create the that mock logger service and it will use of this mock logger service by the jasmine now let's try to execute here so now the constructor is getting executed right? so now no need to worry so first time it, uh, now first time it is executing see the debugger never came to this one so if i try to refresh this one also the debugger doesn't came into this logger service okay this is how we can spy on this log log service and also we can create a spy object like this so this is how we will be doing hope you understood about this spy object and spying on that one and the difference between this spy on and the create spy object if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you